Many people would do anything for a cup of coffee or tea, but there was a more serious side to today's lunch at the Stamford Plaza. Brisbane's biggest morning tea is one of many fundraisers being held in Queensland to fund support for cancer patients. Cancer survivors were among those who attended, grateful they could be there to share their experiences. It was a long road, especially with little children, because you worry about whether you're going to get to see them grow up. But I have, and I'm seeing my grandchildren grow up now, and it's just wonderful. There were also those who'd known people who suffered or still suffer from the disease. My sister-in-law had breast cancer, and I've got a friend who lives in Vandenberg that's had breast cancer. And my partner's mother's had breast cancer. She's fine now. One in two people will be diagnosed with cancer by the age of 85. Cancer Council Queensland is hoping to raise more than $1.89 million from this year's morning tea. Lots of preparation goes into Australia's biggest morning tea. We have 5,000 hosts across Queensland who get involved and do all sorts of morning teas across the state. While the search for a cure for cancer is slow and painful, today there was optimism for the future. Don't let it get you down because more people survive than die from it at this, in this day and age. And one of these days they're going to have a cure for it and uh, nobody's going to die from it. Sipping tea now raises $10 million for cancer research every year. Ash Jones, QT News.